Alright, um, just got finished watching your video, and it's, uh, I don't know what, quite what to say, man. Like, essentially, your, your rebuttal or your counter or whatever it was, was basically, I want you to admit that I am right and you are wrong, at least a little bit. That's basically what it was, you know? And that's... I... <laughs> I, I don't know what exactly what that is, but it's, it's not helpful. It's not helpful. And you keep calling life a game or referring to it as a game and you're caught in the life game and that's too bad. You know, I almost want to say grow up, you know, it's, uh, we're all here, we're all in the game and I, I got me calling it the game. Life's not a game, it's, we're all here, it's all rolling along. We're all using words that were you know, made by people who died before us. We're basically walking in the ashes of death constantly. You know, the dirt used to be somebody. We're inhaling, you know, the molecules of someone who's long dead, of a dead star, blah, 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 blah. You know? We live in a crazy and wondrous universe, and you can choose to go the, the the Gehenian route and cry about this and that and that's fine I guess it, I, I just think that it should be like legitimate whoa you know and it seems that you're going a little bit out of your way I mean maybe you have some sort of depression some depression problems I have deep depression myself I just sink into these levels in which I, uh, I I don't move I don't do anything I just sort of hit this like nihilistic like I don't feel anything and that hasn't worked out too well for me but in the moments that I'm happy in the moments I'm able to maintain at least a semblance of emotion I you know I try to ride it as long as I can you know it, within moderation I don't go around you know giving people hugs <laughs> or anything like that but I just, I think half the problem with with antinatalism, or from what I, I perceive at the moment, like, uh, I have a few, I have like one antinatalist friend, I guess, and I have a couple I, I associate with, and it's a learning experience for me, you know, I've rarely, you know, not, due to no fault of, uh, of you guys, I've just been very busy. I've gone to the rooms before and I've, you know, I've listened to what you guys talk about and I want, I want you to know that I am fully aware that each and every one of you is an individual and you, I hear you guys telling jokes and some of them are quite funny, you know. <laughs> and I really like you guys, I really like your, your point of view on life and you guys aren't all, um, aren't blindly happy, you know, that, that, that annoys me sometimes. People who look on the bright side of everything, well she was raped but at least she wasn't killed, it's like really? Could, could we could, could we discuss that tomorrow? Let's just let's focus on the rape part, okay? Let's not, let's not tell her all that kind of stuff or him. <laughs> but where the people where I meet people who are constantly looking on the bright side of things, you guys look at, like at the dark side of things. It's just another side of the coin, you know. It's like yay, it's a bright sunny day. I just had a. A daughter and my son's in college but my daughter's probably gonna have an illegitimate son and die of AIDS there's a 60% chance of that because of the area that I live oh you know <sighs> life's not a game life keeps going just roll with it try to direct yourself as best as you can if something knocks you down You're knocked down. Some people get knocked down more than others. It's just, it's, that's just numbers. A lot of, a lot of uh, life is mathematics. A lot of life is science. But it's not a game. We're not playing a game here. There are times in life where you can make certain 
parts of your life a game. You know, make a game of getting married, make a game of having kids. But you can't, if you try to quantify all existence as some sort of game, You're gonna, you have a problem. You're gonna, you're gonna run into a problem because no one's ever won the life game. We all lose. We all die. So it's not. So if you think about it as a game, it's only one outcome. Like what would, what would it, what would it be to win at life? Obviously, you don't know what that is because if you did know what that would be, you would have a positive. Well, maybe your positive is what I would perceive as a negative. You know, the extermination or the end of all the, of the human race. The future's bright. You know, the future is very, very bright for us. I try to think of it like this. Like, if I was living back in the 13th century or the 12th century, like, if I was thrown back in time through some time machine or whatever it is. I would be depressed, you know, I'd be so depressed there'd be no PlayStation 3, there'd be no, um, you know, Miss America's beauty pageant, there'd be no thongs, my friend, no thongs. It'd just be depressing. No one would be taking any baths. And I don't even know what part of the world I would be in if I was in the 12th century, you know. Oh, just be stinking everywhere. Life would suck, right? And then I'd run to someone from the 12th century who just thinks life's just wonderful. I'm just looking at them, you know, they're just happy as a daisy, you know? They, they, got, they live in a shack. They're, they're, you know, their wife has like three teeth, you know? He's old, you know, because people died younger back in those days. He's like an old 17. He thinks, you know, he's, he's really hit it, and I'm just, pissed at him because he's just so fucking happy. He has no idea what he's missing out on. No idea. He doesn't know that about Star Wars. He doesn't know about cool ass comic books. He doesn't know about silicon implants. <laughs> I mean, he is just living in a fog. So when I think about it that way, I feel better. What other wonders are out there that I'm never going to see. You know? What else is out there? What's 200 years down the line going to look like for the human race? Will they be able to f achieve happiness? Will they be able to download their consciousness into different bodies? What, what is it? I just try to look forward and I try to make myself a part of that a part of that thought process. So that's not a game for me. And it's how I keep myself going, aspiring towards some outlandish idea. Instead of a utter void. 